what's up you guys my name is Fabian from the paper letter blog I'm very excited because we're gonna open some more PO box mail now you may have seen in the title of this video that this is the second part of two videos um, because I picked up 12 amazing pieces of mail and I explained in the previous video that I'm done apologizing for how long my videos are and how chatty my videos are I just enjoy opening this mail so much. I know um, there's so much inspiration in here. So if you're into that kind of thing, welcome. If you're not, you can always speed up this video and just watch it without sound. Um, but if you're as excited as I am, grab your cup of tea, pick out your tea of um, choice. I don't know, uh, join the conversation in the comments down below. You're also free to post your pen pal search comments under this post. I will also link my Instagram pen pal post thingy uh, down below. If you have Instagram and you are looking for pen pals, I really suggest you, you use my picture I have a special picture on Instagram where you can post your pen pal comments and so many people join. So I really recommend you go join the conversation there as well. Um, but yeah, welcome. I'm really, really excited. We're going to open this amazing meal. If you haven't yet watched part one of this video, I do really suggest you go do that as well, either before or after this video, because there are some really fun ideas in there. Um, I also show a little peek of my craft room where I show you some of the places, uh, some of my happy mail inspiration uh, areas where I basically display happy mail. So if you want to see that as well, I really recommend you watch that as well but we're going to open five more pieces of mail we're just going to start from the top with this little cutie i did already cut them open um i think i did look at this one but i was a bit confused because i cut them open for like efficiency but i try not to spoil too much of the fun so i look at only a few but i was confused oh ha 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 okay 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 i get it now I'm a bit of an idiot because I saw all of this. I did not open the envelope yet. I saw all of this. I saw an image and I thought there's no note, <laughs> but I just realized her note is actually inside the uh, inside the postcard because I thought this was um, an image and not a postcard. But now I get it. Uh, it just said, "Oh, this is very sweet. It's from Tanner because that's what I wanted to know because there was no name, no return address on here, and it's a very sweet note from Tanner. So thank you so much." And she sent me this, and now I realize the T, of course, stands for Tanner. I uh, she sent me this really, really pretty watercolor painting. I love these colors, green. Oh, sorry, I, I'm filming the second half of this video on the same day, so talking is getting a bit difficult. Um, but I'm gonna pick out a tea, which I also forgot. We can try the one, the organic pomegranate white tea from Jocelyn. Or we can try, yeah, I, I, I have this candy cane tea in here, which I received from one of you as well, but it's like Christmassy, so I don't, I don't think I should try that now. Mm, which one do I wanna try? Mm, I'm gonna make decisions. I got, I'm gonna try this one from Donna, Wild Sweet Orange. I think I will actually need that because I've been talking so much. Oh, it smells, whoa. It smells really good. Wow, I don't like, ugh, I've said this so many times, I don't usually like fruit teas, but I actually think I could really use something fresh. So that sounds good. Okay, Vivian, focus. Um, And oh, look at that. She sent me some little goodies. We've got these pretty note papers. They would be really cool for ad address labels or just little notes in uh, mail. And then some of these textured stickers from little mice and little uh, farm animals. It's so cute. They're actually little pigs. This one confused me because it looked like a cow. Is this a mouse? I don't think it is. It's a different animal, but I don't know the name. Someone help me. What are they called? Are they Australian? They might be. I don't remember. It's not actually a mouse. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Someone can probably help me. So far, the comment section is always able to solve these quests for me. <laughs> so thank you so much for that lovely mail, Tanner. I'm really happy that I found your note. Because in the previous PR books mail, there was one mail that did not have a note or I didn't find it. 
So I was worried um, that I lost it somehow. But okay, I, I realize now that in the previous video, I um, I always update you guys in these videos about the people I have replied to. In the previous video, my phone died, so I told you who it, who I replied to, but I never really finished that. But I did remember correctly. I, rep oh, I replied to three people. I replied to Beck from Australia, one of the two Becks from Australia. I, re I replied to Tamara from Germany and Nina from Germany. So I really hope all three of these have arrived. I, um, I mean, I reached my goal of replying to two or three people a month, but I would actually love to write more. But I just, I've been in a bit of a, I, I didn't, I didn't make pen pal mail. I wasn't, nah. I started a whole lot of things. I started a whole lot of mail, and I never, I didn't finish anything. So I was in a bit of a creative. Uh, I had a creative block basically. But I am definitely getting back to making more mail. I, I'm actually looking at two pen or two subscriber mails that I'm going to reply to hopefully today or tomorrow. You cannot see them, but I can. So this is so exciting. Um, so I replied to t three people. Oh, because the previous in April I replied to so many people. I made 20 pieces of mail in one month. And I was really hoping to hold on to that, but then I kind of lost it. And I'm hoping my mojo is coming back now. So that's basically everything I wanted to say. Then this lovely piece of mail is from Juna. I have replied to Juna a little while ago. Actually, not that long ago. I think I replied to her in April. And then she replied to me now again, which is very fast. Um, Juna is from the USA, as you can see by this lovely stamp. They're so pretty, little succulent. And I think, if I can feel, that this is all washi tie that she used to cover up this envelope. But if I'm correct, then this is a very big washi type. It's like as big as the envelope. So that's pretty cool. And I'm actually very excited to read what she wrote to me because I replied to her and I'm very excited that she replied to me again. Um, I'm obviously not gonna show you the letter, but let me see what else is in here. Oh, little phone card. Wait, I don't want to show any personal things, but I do want to get everything. Oh wait, I think I thought this was also part of the letter, but I think this might be a piece of art. <gasps> Did you make that? Oh my god, that's so cool. At first, like my first thought was handwriting, it's her note. Then I thought it's a postcard, but I think, oh yeah, she actually made this herself. Oh my god. Oh, it's song lyrics from Vampire Weekend. Very cool. I cannot believe this is your handwriting. That actually looks like proper art. And then, oh my goodness, this washi tape. I don't want to show the letter itself. Okay, covering up the letter, but look at this washi tape. How cute is that? Absolutely adore it. That is cool. Oops, oh no, sorry, don't want to show your letter. So I'm actually really excited. I say this all the time, but um, if I pick your name uh, for a reply, you shouldn't feel obligated to reply to me again if you want to do PO box mail as like a one-time thing. I completely understand just to see my reply to you as kind of a thank you from me for sending me mail. But if you do decide to reply, then obviously I'm going to put you in the to reply pile again because it would be very fun to get to know some of you a bit better. Take your time. So no obligations, no stress. It's all about having fun. So she sent me this cute little package. I'm definitely going to put this on one of my Happy Meal spots. I think I'll put it behind me so we will have a pretty background. Perfect. I like that and I'll put this on here for now. So, as you can see, I'm slowly filling up my uh, craft room with all of your amazing art. I really like that. That's such a good idea. I want to do something similar. Oh, I, I didn't even realize. Look. How gorgeous, like this is her envelope. I cannot really, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna try it like this. This is her envelope and then this is the inside of the envelope. It has copper foiling on it. How pretty is that? So I have been saying this for, I don't know how long now, but I have, I have a box filled with mail that I want to journal with or that I want to document and keep in some way. 
And this will definitely be, the inside of this envelope would definitely be something that would be fun to use as a background. Just putting that out there. And then we have this gorgeous envelope. We have this, uh, first of all, adorable envelope. Um, there's no return address on here, so... Uh, so I hope your return address is in here so I can reply to you. And I did not actually recognize the stamps because I always share the incoming mail on my uh, Instagram stories, just the envelope, so that you can see, hey, my mail has arrived, for example. And I showed the stamps as well. And I, did, I said that I... Oh, <sighs> this story is not coming out fluently. So I showed this on my Instagram stories and I said that I was confused about which country this was. And someone told me Ireland. So this would be mail from Ireland. Really like that. Now let's see what's inside. Ooh, matching letter paper. Oops. Okay, wait, I don't want to show. Oh my God, oh, there's so much in here. Okay, let me see if I can cover this up. Oh wait, oh, it's someone. Mm, now I want to know who this is. Oh, Jane. Oh my God, Jane. See the postcard up there that says hi? That's from Jane, I didn't realize. Of course, Ireland. <laughs> it's from Ireland, right? Oh my god, now I'm, now I'm confused. Oh, it's from Jane, actually. First of all, she has this adorable matching letter writing set. Love that. But she wrote me the postcard, which I showed you in the previous PO Box mail. And on that, she wrote that she had received my reply. So this is actually another reply. She said that she re received my reply and just wanted to let me know that it was received. And that she would be writing back to me at a later stage. And now she already wrote back to me. That is so quick. Okay, where am I going with this? Okay, we have, first of all, we have this image of a dog. And then we have, oh, these are so cute little puffy word stickers. One says love, the other one says peace. We have, a, I'm just gonna lay it all out so you can look at it. Little stickers, a little unicorn and a star. And then the, oh. Oh, we have a little bookmark. <laughs> that is so adorable. We have a little bookmark. We have an envelope. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, it's a letter writing set. Oh, love that. Look how fancy that is. Beautiful. It feels like sturdy paper, which is great because I love writing with fountain pens. Oh, oh my God. I didn't even realize the front had a beautiful image as well. The front is actually even cooler. This is actually my favorite. Wow, <laughs> that's so me. And I love that it has a little space for the address. And then we've got postcards, choo-choo postcards. Oh, look at these little kitties. And then this postcard, wow. Really, really cool. Art and nature shall always be wrestling until they eventually conquer one another so that the victory is the stroke and line. Okay, okay, so wow, Jane, I cannot wait to read your letter. I didn't expect you to write back so soon, but I really do appreciate it. The only thing is um, that I don't think I kept your address. So <laughs> if you could please email me your address again, because I don't, or maybe I do still have it. I think I might still have it up there. I remember it was a gray envelope, I think. Okay, Vivian. This is a great story. I'm just gonna pop this back so I can look at it again. Do you guys notice that I keep saying pop? Pop in the tea, pop in this, pop in that. That's not something I would usually say. I just do it in these videos. Mm. I think it's Australian, right? To say something, to say pop. Pop it in the microwave. We don't know. So we've got that. Then we've got another big envelope from M. We're gonna to have to figure out who M is from the UK, I think. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, the UK, judging by the stamps. So sad, instead of stamping the stamps, they crossed them out. Sad, but still, they're kind of cool. And it's decorated with this, um, this vintage paper. And then here, letters. Oh, this book seems to be about letters. Or about mailboxes i don't know and okay i have to admit i was curious to find out who m was 
So I was going to try and find out who M was, but then I saw that it was so nicely wrapped. I thought, okay, if I unpack this, I'm gonna ruin it, so I will leave it closed. So this is good for uh, preventing me to break it into mail. Okay, we're just gonna open this. Ooh, that sound. A little protective cover. Beautiful, beautiful, happy meal. I'm just gonna put this aside. So she seems to be mixing like new craft supplies with some vintage images, which is really, really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, wow, I'm impressed. We've got envelopes in the middle, envelope over there. It says just for you. We've got a pocket here for, made from a postcard. I am impressed with your skills. And a huge paper clip, which I love. And I think if I take the washi tape off, I can reuse that, which is clever. I think this might be, no, this is paper. I thought it would be your note, but beautiful paper. Oh my gosh. I think this might be what you use for the envelope as well. Love this one especially, the floral one, of course. Oh wow, okay, I'm making a mess. We've got a postcard and then a little postcard. Oh, that's clever. So we've got a little coffee postcard. Look, it even has a space for a stamp. <laughs> and then we've got a big postcard with, um, I always forget the word, sticky notes, right? Memo sheets, sticky notes, really, really huge, different sticky notes just gonna put that back oh i'm curious to find out who you are <sighs> open this one first no it's like a unwrapping presents on my birthday i think this might be the note no this is cut out also run you're keeping me in suspense a little bit longer so we've got all of these cutouts Well, these seem to be all um, biblical, or at least these two. Painting, different castles, painters, cool, cool, cool. They could come in handy for making vintage themed meal. Okay, how am I going to get this back in here? A little paper clip. Okay, I'll pop that. Just gonna put that there, don't tell anyone. And then another pretty envelope. Ooh, a pretty tag. Oh wait, a playlist. Mm-hmm. What is this? Oh my god, tiny envelope. Something else in here. Tea from my Spanish pen pal. I don't think, I don't drink tea, so I thought you might like it. M. Ooh, vanilla caramel tea. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Hey, nose. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's actually, look, it looks like an envelope. You want to join us again? And then you open it like that. It's actually a little envelope flip. How cute. Okay, let me see. We've got... Okay, let me see. We've got um, washi tape samples. Really like that. It's also the washi tape she used. Wait, let me show you. We've got a visitor. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you cannot really come onto the table because there's too much stuff. You wanna try? Yeah, you're gonna try, aren't you? She already inspected and sniffed all of the meal. Don't worry. No, she's got me covered. <laughs> So, in here we have some of these fabric flowers. No, she's distracting me. She's really looking at me over the camera, which is very weird. <laughs> We've got a beautiful die color that says be green. Okay, how am I going to get these out? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh, be unique, be creative, be colorful. I already know someone who's going to love that. She knows who she is. <laughs> okay, I think I got everything out. So beautiful flowers and die cuts. And then this, this is going to be her note to Vivian. Okay, let me see who this is. 
Oh, Madeline. I hope I'm saying that correctly, Madeline. Oh, it says, I forgot to say, but the Brahus postcard is a genuine vintage card. The Berlin one is a reproduction that I bought in Berlin last year. The Brahms. This one is, is vintage. Cool. That's cool. Okay, of course, I'm not going to read your letter on camera, but I'm going to read that afterwards. Cannot wait to get to know you better. And, well, obviously, thank you for all of this incredible mail. How pretty. I'm going to create some really cool things. I like it all. I'm going to put this in the basket. Just let me put your name on it. If I can find a pen. I have a craft room filled with things. You would be... You would think I would be uh, able to find something in here. Madeline. 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 Ah, I like that. Nice to meet you, Madeline. Thank you for this wonderful, wonderful meal. I was talking about this and then my camera cut off, but um, I said that I didn't actually realize, but I think she doodled all of this on here herself. How cute. And I think by the looks of it, there's a really, really cute die cut that she also made herself from a teapot underneath the big sticker. But um, maybe we can salvage that. Look, a teapot. I can see it, but mm, I have to take off the sticker. Um, so yeah, let me flip that over. I did open it, but again, it was wrapped beautifully, so I didn't touch it. In here was her uh, customs form, so I also took that out. For privacy of course oh my gosh and this is a heavy package let me tell you that oh there's something else oh my gosh oh it's actually different packages okay so this is a customs form i'm just gonna put that back i already took that out oh god oh man oh this is wonderful <laughs> all of these presents i think this is her note yes i will read that afterwards but i will just quickly scan it first Okay, so in here is her letter. As you can see, it is a fat, fat long letter. So I'm going to enjoy reading that afterwards. But wow, I really look forward to that. And um, I look forward to this as well. I don't even know where to start. Just start from the top. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm going to start with this one. Look at this adorable washi type. It's actually cat mermaids. How cute. Oh my god, oh there's so much in here. I can see some vintage paper. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love it already. Oh, she's got a little mermaid paper clip to match the mermaid washi type. That's so cute. Oh, I have to try the tea before it gets cold. Oh. Oh. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. If you could see my face, if only you could see my face. Oh, I think, oh, this is a bit, I wanted something fresh, but it's a bit more sour than I expected. Hmm, maybe, oh, that's strong. It definitely woke me up though. So that was what I was looking for. Oh my God, this is adorable. This is adorable. This is like a little handmade. Um, how do you call that in English? It's like, oh, I completely forgot to say this when I started this video, but I actually moved the camera down a little bit because in the previous video, it was so high up. I wasn't sure if everything was in focus. I hope that's okay. <laughs> but wow, they're like little planters for when you want to grow new plants and you put them in little pots first. That's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm, I planted these little forget-me-not seeds in these miniature planters. Um, and I cannot wait for them to grow. I want to put some outside in the garden, but I also want to keep some inside because they're so cute for wax seals. But these are actually, I think, egg shells in an egg carton. And then you can use them to plant little seeds, which is so cute. I actually like this. I'm going to put this somewhere special because it's, it's exactly what I want to be doing. And then we've got some napkins, which I can use for meal art. Oh, ah, it's a little French girl. Oh, that's cute. My cousin's currently living in France. So I might have to use that for her. Adorable. That's adorable. And two more. I think these are the same, yeah. 
and a postcard my husband oh my husband proposed to me at this botanical garden a few years ago i always love visiting there louis ginter botanical garden what a great what a fun memory and i love that there's tulips because as you know tulips are the dutch national flower oh this is heavy <laughs> i'm so excited we've got a beach postcard oops another note in the back i love the beach so for our honeymoon my husband booked us a weekend at virginia beach it was a wonderful trip i can imagine did you send me all of these special postcards that's really cool i love that there's like a story behind each and every one of them and then we have this beautiful vintage um what is it called again uh, dictionary ha I think this is a dictionary a dictionary yeah this is definitely dictionary pages i really like that great for collaging and then we've got these two beautiful envelopes with something inside as well i'm definitely going to save these gift bags and reuse them i think that's like a part of a very big part of the snail mail community of reusing as much as you can Oh, they're cute little tiny note papers, like little letter writing paper. We've got <laughs> the bear, this is my love. These are perfect. I usually love writing on those A5 sized um, letter writing paper, writing paper, I don't know. I love writing on A5 sized paper, but then sometimes you can not finish your letter on one of those A5 sized papers. So then these are kind of perfect to just finish your note without having to waste another piece of letter writing paper and this is actually a tiny envelope template that's adorable how cute so i can make an entire meal on these papers and put it in a little envelope might actually do that that's fun like a miniature meal like Brittany did on her channel okay we've got one more and then two more packages i mean i have been spoiled again please don't tear please don't tear please don't tear ah yay the joy when you open an envelope without damaging it Ooh, are these washi tape samples oh my god oh so many washi tape samples <gasps> i love these let me show you First one is all of these gorgeous, cute, cat-themed washi types. These are so pretty. I especially love the terrarium one. We've got all of these little floral, colorful, different ones. We've got these copper foil ones, also very pretty. What is this card? Oh, it's playing cards. Oh my God, these are the prettiest playing cards I've ever seen. Can you see that design? really pretty then we've got this one with different oh i've got i i have this one before the coffee themed one it's so fun i received it a couple weeks ago and i love that i have more because i've been uh saving it but now i can use it some more <laughs> look coffee beautiful day this is such a fun washi tape i absolutely love it but first coffee i definitely have to make a coffee themed <laughs> um, meal sometime so all of these washi tape samples you are really the best oh my gosh i love it these are so fun for tucking into your planner as well oh yes she sent me some of the cat themed washi oh i love that the cat mermaid themed oh these are all mermaid themed we've got fish scales we've got waves we've got what does it say I am actually a mermaid. Nice sparkle you got there. Oh my god, that's so cool. And shells. I think I would love to look around your craft room because I think we have a very similar style. Or craft area. I know not everyone has a room. Some more kitties and gold foiling. Oh, I love this. Some more mermaids. That's adorable. I don't usually... I wouldn't usually buy something with mermaids, but this is so cute. I really like that. Wow, I only opened one package. I've already been so spoiled. Oh, I really wonder what is in here. Ooh. Oh, is this a Happy Meal? Oh, 
Oh, I'm really curious. <gasps> oh my gosh. Take off the band. Oh, my favorite instant coffee from a local Asian grocery store. Enjoy. Yes, please. Instant coffee makes three in one. So that means coffee, milk and sugar, right? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm very excited. This little, what is it, envelope that says fly. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm like hyperactive right now. I could be jumping up and down. Although I know that's very annoying in a video. Wow. <laughs> what a mail to finish this PO box opening with. Oh, die cuts. Butterfly die cuts. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, I have to display them somehow. All of these butterfly die cuts or punches, I don't know. Oh, these are adorable. Different papers, so many different papers. <gasps> oh, I like that. I love that there's a variety of the colorful and then the more uh, neutral colors so I can use them for any project. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> oh, and there's one as well. That's so sweet. Oh, oh, it's actually envelope. This is a fat envelope. And then this is paper, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, Vivian, good morning. It's a notebook. This is a notebook. Now I get it. Is this handmade as well? I've never seen something like this. <gasps> oh my gosh. This has yellow paper in here. Beautiful. And then this one has grid paper in here. And actually, I have to say that my current for my traveler's journal like my bullet journal my agenda i currently use a five sized an a5 sized planner but i have so much space left over i was actually thinking of moving to this size i don't know what this size is called but that would be kind of perfect although i, I also love grid paper for like collages and stuff that's so pretty really cool i think you might have made these yourself that is awesome now i'm going to open this huge envelope but first the little envelope i don't want to tear it no oh no how do i open you mm. oh aww. that's cute it's like little handmade embellishments little drawings sweets and these are little embellish heart embellishments. Uh oh, there we go. That is cute. I, I love that idea. I really like that idea. You use washi type as like the paper as the background, which is so smart. Definitely gonna try something like that myself. Okay, next. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is so full. Oh, I cannot wait to try the coffee. We've got a little pocket here. Ah, I'm too impatient. <laughs> I am too impatient. Oh, what is this? Oh, beautiful die cuts. Remember? Wow, they almost feel like wood or something. Anniversary, vacation. Wow, this handwriting is beautiful. There's so many of them. They feel a little bit like wood. Little hearts. This one that says love. This one that says relax. One. Oh, these are really nice. Hello! Of course there's a hello one. I love those. And I love the color of this one as well. Oh, these are really, really pretty. Don't get me wrong, I love having Dutch pen pals and swap partners. But I also really, really like exchanging mail with people from other parts of the world because we all have different stores. So we're all going to have different craft supplies. I'm kind of a collector, so this makes me very happy. I've never seen anything like it before. I don't want to damage them. These adorable little note papers. And we've got planner stickers, I think. Oh, it's actually a booklet. Oh, you're so generous for sharing that with me. Got these little tick, tick, tick. 
appointments, birthdays, we'll start a special day, vacation, special day. Oh, these are four of them. Oh my gosh, you've given me like the whole book. Date night, that's so sweet. So all of these are planner stickers, but they could also be used for decorating, obviously. So cute. And all little gift bags, XOXO, to and from. Craft paper that's also so fun because you can really, you can leave it like that because it's already quite special or you can really decorate this some more. Wow. Heather, you have spoiled me big time. Just going to carefully wrap this again. And we have one large package left. I can already see some vintage paper. Very curious. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to tear it because I'm too excited to be patient. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so this is a big, I don't know, journal, flip book, and it says Vivian. This is actually the biggest thing I've ever received. Oh, and it's like, how do you call this? It's like fabric, almost. Also on the back. Oh, when there's another one, are you joking? Okay, we're gonna open it. Oh, it's actually a Happy Meal. I cannot believe that. That's so cool. Like, I love this, but if I were you, I would have gotten uh, so intimidated by a meal this big. Like, I already struggle with filling up a small flip book, let alone something this big. There's so much more here for me. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. <laughs> We've got tea for me. Yay, chamomile herbal. Snappy ginger herb with lemon. Oh, there's much more. We've got white rose. White tea with white rose. That sounds really good. Christmas in Paris. Okay, that sounds interesting as well. We've got a cute little little um, magnet. Well, lost the word there for a second. Did I get everything out? And then we have, is this a bread? Ooh, that is a clever idea. So she made like a little tag flip using a bread. So we've got her current favorites. We've got meal tag with the questions. Oh, this one is nice. What is your happily ever after? Ooh, as long as I'm happy. <laughs> oh, cliche. No, as long as I don't have any more stress, that would be my happily ever after. And these, this is her playlist. That's so fun. I really like that. And then we've got another paper clip here. We've got more um, page flags. These would also be so cute for decorating. And then little memo sheets of a paw. And I can also see here that little cute little fox paper that she also used. And then there's more in here. Wow, you have spoiled me rotten. We've got a shaker card. Start doing things you love. <gasps> That's cute. I'm going to put that up on my wall somewhere that is cute i really like these square sequins i just have to find a place for this i will do that afterwards we're gonna put that up and all of the cheese <laughs> oh and this one good vibes a, a huge banana card oh look at that happy banana and we've got i think magazine clip outs oh this is actually a calendar Kitties! Oh, I wonder if you've got cats. I think so because you have a lot of cat themed items. Cat paper clip. Oh, all of these. This is a calendar. So we've got all of these kitties. And then some um, vintage looking bakery items. Also really cute. So these would be very cute for like decorating an envelope or something like that. And then we have a whole other side with more things for me to look at. I don't even know where to start. She made me these cute little paper clips. One that says happy and this one with the beautiful trim, I think it's called. We've got a tiny envelope. You have so many surprises hidden in this meal. It's so much fun. Oh, little Hello Kitty note. Hello Kitty. Oh, page flat, like, um, how do you call this? I don't actually know. This is such a coincidence because the other day, let me see if I can grab it. The other day, I received this mail from my pen pal, Jenny, and it's like a little folder. As you can see, it's a little folder, right? Um, so 
I really like this because this is like the same idea, like a tab. I think it's called tabs. And I was actually looking at buying a tab die cut, a tab die, I don't know. So this is such a coincidence. I've been looking for these. That is really, really fun. I really like these. They have fun colors as well. And then, little Hello Kitty nerd papers. Such a miniature notes. Adorable. And you guys really inspire me with all of this because sometimes I really overthink mail while I personally experience how happy all of these little bits and pieces make me. So why would I worry? And then we put more sticky notes with, with an owl. Let me see. Okay, okay, this one. The zoo. Marietta is located just north of Atlanta. The zoo and the aquarium are in Atlanta. The Tadley's Museum is, a, is worth... Hmm? is north of Marietta and my favorite museum. Oh, so she gave me some uh, some like tourist information. I actually love going to zoos. I know it's kind of sad because they're like locked up, but that's aquariums as well. Just like not necessarily the dolphin ones, but the fish ones. It's so relaxing to look at fish. And then this one, TELUS Science Museum. Oh, I didn't. That's fun. I can read through that when I read your letter. And another adorable uh, paper clip. Little Alice in Wonderland book page, I think. And wow, this is so delicate. I think this must be really, really vintage. Thank you for wanting to share that with me. Oh, another one, Alice in Wonderland. And she's stamped on this, which looks so pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, we've got, oopsie, I accidentally. We've got one envelope and another, and it says, look inside. Want to look inside, but where? Oh, there it is. Okay, we've got paper clip with a butterfly. This is actually the prettiest paper clip ever. Pretty butterfly. And then we've got different colors of page flags, which again are going to be perfect for decorating. It's good that you wrote on here look inside because I would not have realized otherwise. It'd be perfect again for the Happy Mail Journal, if I ever, ever, ever work on it again. Oh, exciting. What is this? Oh, oh, is that? Oh, wow. That is like, what is it called? Tissue paper, but really, really special designs. <gasps> wow. Got Moon and the Stars one. Wow, this is such a pretty color. Like a mossy green one. That is for sure my favorite. And then these vintage looking ones, vintage map, wow. I know one pen pal who's going to love these. Ooh, and then some plain ones. Wow, these feel so delicate. And the dark green ones as well. I'm for sure, like I also said it in the previous video, someone got upset with me that I was talking about sharing presents. Um, sharing presents that I have received, but that's the, a part of the fun of snail mail, that when you see something and you immediately think of a different pen pal that is going to love this, it is totally okay to send that to a different pen pal or to share that with a different pen pal. Because as much as I love this, I, I don't think I can use all of it. So why wouldn't I make someone else happy with it, right? So, oh my goodness. Oh, I almost forgot I have one more envelope. Oh, happy day. Well, definitely. I think I have these envelopes as well with the cacti on them. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, paper punches. Yes, I love that. Oh my God, and so many. Oh, she stamped some of her stamps for me. And she cut them out. Wow, you must have a lot of patience. Beautiful hydrangea. This um, space one. Wow. Oh, this one is the one she also used on the book page. I really like that. Another hydrangea. All these spice themed ones. Hydrangea. I really love this color of ink. You're going to have to tell me which color it is. Oh. And then, of course, yeah, the paper punches. I really like that because they're great for making little embellishments. Kitty stamps. So cute. Oh, little ladybug. 
images. Oh, little dragonflies. Wow, I'm just listing everything you gave me, but I'm so happy. Some more of those cute butterflies. Wow, there's so much in here. It's like a whole craft room kit. You have some really pretty stamps. D is a cup of life. That's perfect. Who's just here again? Hello. Do you also want to see the meal? Do you want to come on my lap? The meow of me, young lady. <laughs> Do you want to come sniff? Yes, please. Mm hmm. Are you going to sit on it? No, that wasn't what I intended for you to do. Hmm. Yes, a little inspection. Hmm. No, just don't wrinkle anything. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to look at some more. Oh my gosh, you really spoiled me. I'm gonna make some fun embellishments with these. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> Jeez. I received all of these in happy mail. I'm just gonna put them straight in there. And then, wow, <laughs> I have been so spoiled, but I would almost forget that there is another huge journal underneath here. And this is like a vintage themed one. It says, once upon a time, far, far away. This is so pretty. This is like a vintage book as well, I think. But then she also painted over it and she has these copper doilies and a huge, beautiful wax seal stamp with like white and copper. Oh, I love it all. And then when we open, oh, when we open it, I have, I made this many years ago as a demo at the craft store I worked at. Caution, they do leave a shimmer residence on your hand. Okay, I'm afraid now. But first, let me look at this. Wow, I think this is like really precious paper that you've used for this happy meal. There lived a handsome prince. Wow. <laughs> this is really special. Also on the back, happily ever after. I wonder what this brown painted because it makes the paper feel very sturdy. Now, let me look at this. Oh, oh, I think this is like mixed media. Mm, oh, she put these in between to keep them from um, mixing. <laughs> That's clever. Oh, this is really fun. I wonder if you use like a stencil or something for this. I could use these for die cutting because look at that shimmer. I really hope you can see that. Wow. <laughs> I have been. I can't believe all of this, Heather. You are like really creative and you make some really, really. So, um, I am going to hang this up somewhere in my craft room at the end of this video. So stay tuned if you want to see that. But that is the end of this video with this amazing Happy Meal. So don't forget to check out the previous video if you want to see the other amazing things I received. Uh, don't forget to check out the PO Box Meal playlist if you want to see even more fun things don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you in the next one <laughs> okay bye bye okay i've made a mess but i'm gonna hang up this fun little shaker card somewhere if i can find a space i think i might want to hang it over here as well wow it looks really orangey in my in this screen i hope that's okay or up there I have one more space up there, or of course in the paper rack. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe just here. But I, I don't know how to do that because I don't have any more hands. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it here. No, there. Yes, and then I probably will move it once I found the pins. Uh oh. I want to pick up this little guy, but I cannot because it's stuck on the board. How do I pick you up? Oh my god, I need longer nails for this. Just gonna move it all the way to the side and then try and pick it up there. Yay, I got it off. So, that is actually a very strong magnet. Just gonna put that on there for now. Put a little cute little kitty magnet on there as well. I just dropped one. I dropped this one today. I'm excited about everything. So, that is the board for now. <laughs> 
um, but I have many many more space for more cool things in Mio. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very very soon. New videos every Monday and Friday. Bye!